For weeks, the media have reported there are FISA court orders. For weeks, the media either promoted it or let it sit. For weeks, the media obviously wanted you to believe that so serious, and some of the commentators over the weekend, so serious are the connections between Donald Trump and his people and his campaign or whomever, his surrogates, and Russia, so deep are these connections that they were able to reach the probable cause standard and get a warrant under FISA in October to launch wiretaps, I guess, electronic eavesdropping. So apparently now I have forced the media to do its job. This idea that maybe President Obama ordered an illegal wiretap of his offices. If something like that happened, would this be something you would be aware of? For the part of the national security apparatus that I oversaw as DNI, there was no such wiretap activity mounted against uh, the, pres uh, pr the president elect at the time or as a candidate or against his campaign. Uh, I can't speak for uh, other Title III mm -hmm. authorized uh, entities in the government. There is no FISA court order. Not, not to my knowledge. Of anything at Trump Tower? No. Tell me, Chuck Todd, why didn't you do this interview a month ago? Tell me, Jake Tapper, another fraud, and I'll get into you later, why didn't you do this interview a, a month ago? Tell me, Brian Stetler. He may have been receiving this information, these claims uh, that don't have proof, from right-wing media sources. Levin was suggesting that the President Obama and Obama's aides have been attempting a silent coup. If you really ha are accusing me of not having evidence of anonymous sources of news organizations on FISA court uh, applications and so forth, why didn't you raise that weeks ago? Instead, the whole nation was led to believe that the FISA court approved a warrant to investigate aspects of Trump businesses, the, the server, his surrogate, whatever. And now we know they didn't. The headline should be the lies and deception of the media for weeks. And even more than that, the headline should be not only is there nothing there, there never was anything there. Or I assume they would have sought. They would have sought a warrant. The media are worse than schizophrenic. They're ideologically driven. They can't even get their story straight. All weekend long, all day long, Mark Levin is a conspiracy guy. And he has no evidence to show, no evidence to show. All I did is read the news reports. Well, they said there aren't even fresh reports. Exactly. And they hang out there, and they hang out there, drip, drip, drip. If Mr. Clapper is telling the truth, which is a big question because he's lied before, before Congress, about the entire NSA apparatus, if he's telling the truth, it doesn't hurt Trump and his presidency. It helps Trump and his presidency. I've got a headline here. New York Times, January 20, top of the fold, first page on Inauguration Day, January 20. Wiretap data used in inquiry of Trump aides examining Russian ties. Really? Where'd that come from? They use the word wiretap, as have other articles. I didn't invent it. I didn't invent the FISA court and the stories about the FISA court. What does this have to do with conspiracies and right-wing radio, other than the fact that the media have been caught? The media have been caught in a web of contradictory lies. Were there wiretaps, as the New York Times reports, and others, or weren't there wiretaps? Were there six agencies, as McClatchy and others report, the FBI, the NSA, the DIA, the Treasury Department, the CIA, and so forth, were they involved in investigating aspects of Trump, his campaign, his businesses, and so forth? Or weren't they? 